close your hand. Just like he said, the, the court became the prophet and began to speak what he wanted. Rather than crying about what you ain't got, speak what you want. In the name of Jesus, you laying in the hospital to my how sick you are, and you dying by the moment. Time to declare, I shall live and not die. Speak it. Then, yeah, the last part of it is we have got the promises because we ain't obeyed God. Watch this. Ten lepers. Go and tell the priest. Go see the priest. Tell them that you heal. On the way, the healing took place. And, and the ten of them, they're going home. But one of them said, hold on. He turned around. <laughs> he went back to Jesus. Bowed down. Thank you. Thank you. God said, well, because you did it, not only are you healed, but you made whole too. There's some folk that got healed, but you didn't get whole. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. Because you didn't know that when you got uh, the healing, you should have thanked God for the healing. Woo. And you didn't walk into the obedience. Hallelujah. The man sitting at the pool. He said, take up your bed and walk. He went to making excuses. Hold on, hold on. Man. But, but look at here, Jesus. Huh? You, you see, you don't understand you don't know my condition. You don't know how long I've been here. You don't know how many times I've sat here. And I've drag, drug myself down to this pool. And every time I drag myself down to the pool. See, the mother folk, they can move faster than me. I can't move fast enough. So, so, the, so they get in the water ahead of me. And I ain't got nobody to help me out. God talking to you, but you ain't got nobody. And too many church folk think they ain't got nobody. God spoke to you last night, but you ain't got nobody. God took you, brought you to church, but you ain't got nobody. God been watching over you, but you ain't got nobody. God done made a promise in your life, but you ain't got nobody. You rather sit at the pool and cry about what you ain't got, rather than to speak the things that God have told you, just obey him. So he asked him, do you want a meal eight hole? Or do you want to just sit here and make excuses? And when he got obedient, <laughs> take up your bed and walk. Why he want him to take up his bed? Because he wanted all the folk that been seeing him sitting at the pool to see him walk away with it. Now, now, now watch this. And hear what God means. When God didn't hear you, don't be going in the secret and act like he ain't delivered you for nothing. If you were those lying Sally. Uh, you tell somebody, God, stop me from lying. If you was old whole monging Tom, Tom, you tell him, God, got rid of my whole monger. Go on, be a testimony. He had to walk with his problem. But see, we want to come to church and act like we ain't done nothing. And we had God didn't have to deliver us. Uh, that we were born in Sunday school. Uh, uh, and we grew up in the choir. Uh, and now we living in the pulpit. Uh, and we ain't never done nothing wrong. Uh, but the devil is a lie. You ought to have a testimony and tell somebody uh, that I used to be, uh, but my God uh, delivered me. Uh, I used to be, uh, but look at me now. Uh, I used to be, but oh my God, uh, what God has done for me. Woo. Now, tell you a secret though, if you still is, you can't get that testimony. That's why some folk can't testify, because they still is. See, when you get used to be, you can tell it. You can talk about that stuff. Ah, 
but you still out there slipping and dodging it. You trying to fool the people. Hallelujah. I love you, Jesus. Oh, God. I'm going to act right out to a while. See, what you have to do is, mm, now, so, if you want to make your promises come to pass, you got to make it pop. You got to make it pop. Uh-huh. You got to make it pop. Uh-huh. I ain't talking about no popcorn either. How you make it pop? First of all, you got to pray. You got to pray. Uh, uh, the fix your prayers of a righteous man. The fix your fervent prayers of a righteous man avail as much. You got to pray fervently and faithfully. Oh, God. You got to learn to pray. Don't pray like in Sunday school. Uh, I'm coming in the name of Jesus, whom Paul knew. You got to know him for yourself. Uh, you got to be saying words like, my God, my Savior, my Lord, my all in all, the one who watched over me, the one who woke me up this morning started me on my way the one that gave power to my limbs and taught me how to walk according to his word the one that died for my sin you got to get personal with that thing he got to be a, a my god see sometimes you need to get selfish and you need to tell him he's my god i'm coming to talk to my father ain't not they father but my father it's all right to be our father but you got to be my father. I got to be able to call uh, your name personally. Uh, I got to know you for who you are. Because my God, uh, you know me for who I am. Uh, and when I call you, Lord, uh, I know you hear my cry. You got to pray in faith, uh, not begging God. Uh, but I came, God, uh, on my relationship. Uh, I came, God, because uh, I know you for myself. Uh, I came, God, because I know you got uh, all power in your hand. Uh, I came, God, because I know you're evil. Anybody out there uh, going to be all right? Oh, God. Oh, y'all, y'all push him in there. Listen, listen, listen. He had fervent prayers. But not only that, uh, you got to let him know. But then you got to believe in his promises. The Bible says, accept a prophet in the name of a prophet and get a prophet's reward. In other words, believe the prophecy. And God, see, there's some folk who will prophesy some things. You got to stop worrying about how right they are. If the prophecy is the prophecy of your life, then you accept the prophecy. Uh, because it comes from God. So you got to believe in him. If God says, I'm going to bring deliverance in your life this year, you need to start looking for it, anticipating it, walking in it. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, if God says, I'm going to give you a new car, yeah, and you ain't got no driver's license, you need to go down to the driver's license place, get you one of them little books, start reading up. You need to get somebody out there to use their car to put you in the parking lot and start testing your driving. Because my God, so I'm going to have you riding this year. You ought to be ready. And when the car come, you can drive the car because you done prepared for it. Many folk are waiting on a blessing and you ain't ready for what you waiting on. No preparation. 
Oh my God, I'm looking at your life. Say, when you get ready, I can give you what you want. But you don't believe God going to move for you. Let me say this. To move into the blessings of 2020, you got to overcome the failures of 2019. If you can't turn them loose, they're going to mess up 2020. Next. says, you go, do what I told you to do, and you come back in a different direction. Somebody, another prophet came and told him, God says, all right, go the way you went, the way you came. And he went that way, and a lion was down the road waiting on him. And the lion ate him, because he didn't do what God said. You got to be obedient to what God said. Many of us don't walk into the obedience of what God tells us. And as a result of that, we wind up in a tough situation. I, I, I need you to understand this, that God has already released your promise, but it's up to you to get what he got for you. You got to be ready for what he released. And when you get ready, God will deliver. When you get ready, God will deliver. Because God has already sent you blessing. You remember Abraham? Until Abraham pulled a knife, he didn't see the lamb. My, my, my God. And if you don't ever do what God tell you to do, then your promises won't come through. When Joshua got the folk to go into the promised land, the Jordan was overrunning his banks. And God did something different. When they left out of Egypt, God opened the way in the Red Sea. And he told them, all of you just go on across. But when he got them to the promised land, he said, I ain't going to do it the way I did it then. I opened it up for you. And all you had to do was walk on dry land. But when they got to the promised land, they had to cross the Jordan River. Got to cross the Red Sea to get out of sin. You got to cross Jordan to get into the promise. He said, but if you're going to go into the promise, you got to go by faith and not by sight. He said, I ain't moving the water for you. If you want the water to move, you got to put your foot in it while it's still running. You got to put your foot in it while it's still overflowing. You got to put your foot in it when it's still too deep. You got to put your foot in it when you think you can't make it over. I heard God tell somebody, don't put your foot in it. Don't matter how high, no matter how deep. I heard somebody say, but I can't swim. But my God said, I need you to trust me and go on step in. I hear somebody saying, but I ain't got the strength, God. But my God said, not by strength, not by might, but by my spirit, said the Lord. Anybody in the house, don't mind trusting God. I heard him say, go on, step in it. Oh, my God, when they stepped in, the water stopped on one side. The water stopped running on the other side. Oh, my God, made a way out of nowhere. Anybody in the house know that God, not only did really he do it, but he's already done it. Ah, uh, but here's the thing that you've got to understand. If God got, I, I heard the preacher talking about just the other day. I, I was working on this sermon, and somebody sent me a video clip. They meant to send me one thing, but they sent me something else. And, and, and when I opened the video up, uh, Steve Harvey, was preaching up something. Yeah. I hear you say he ain't no preacher. 
but he was preaching then and he told this story about the man that went up to heaven and was talking to Peter and, and as they were walking out he began to see he took him down this corridor and there were doors down the corridor and he saw people names on the doors and Peter said well, what's with the doors with the folk name on it Peter told him don't worry about the doors you just come on down and so he walked down there a little further and he saw a door with his name on it and when he saw his name he got a little more nose he said oh, look at him Peter my name on this door so I need to know what's going on with this door so Peter asked him, do you really want to know what's behind that door? He said, yeah, I want to know. So, so Peter opened up the door. And when he opened up the door, uh, he said to him, uh, he said, now look at here, I need you to know. Uh, uh, there was like a warehouse. Uh, and in the warehouse uh, was shelves full of packages. Uh, and the packages was all over the warehouse. Uh, and what Peter did when he walked in, uh, he saw his name uh, was on every one of the packages. Uh, he said, now hold up now, I need to know. Uh, what is this with all these packages uh, with my name on it? Uh, said Peter told him, uh, said you need to know Peter, uh, every one of those packages uh, a blessing uh, that God wanted to send you, uh, but you wasn't ready uh, for the blessing. Uh, and they got returned uh, back to sender. Uh, uh, my God, uh, God has been delivered in uh, uh, promises uh, in somebody's lives. Uh, but you ain't been home. You need to know he only delivered them on Faith Street. Oh my God, on Faith Street. If you ain't living on Faith Street, oh my God, said I ain't sending it. Somebody to move over to Dotted Drive. You doubting it and your package just went right on by you. Oh my God, somebody else then over there, uh, not meant for me, uh, uh, Boulevard, uh, uh, you didn't think it to be, uh, they told you uh, God wasn't going to do it, uh, and you on the wrong street, uh, your package went on by, uh, uh, my God, uh, uh, my God, uh, and somebody else, uh, they living on, uh, not worthy way, uh, you don't think you're worthy, uh, you don't think you're fit, uh, but my God, uh, I heard him say, Say, uh, my grace, uh, my grace uh, is sufficient. Uh, uh, my God, uh, somebody else uh, over there in the pity party. Are uh, uh, you on pity parkway? Uh, and you're feeling sorry uh, for yourself. Uh, it didn't go right. Uh, they didn't call your name. Uh, you say, my God, uh, then abandon me. Uh, uh, my Lord. Somebody else uh, over there on Disobedient Avenue. Uh, you ain't doing uh, what the Lord say. Uh, uh, my God. Uh, and your package uh, got returned uh, back to sender. Uh, but if I were you, uh, I'd change uh, my address. Uh, I'd come out my doubt. Uh, I'd come out my pity. Uh, I come out my disbelief, I come out my disobedient, and I come on out on Straight Street, Straight Street, Faith Street, where God live. I tell my God is an able God. He got all, all power, all power, all power in his hand. I tell somebody. I'm going to live, and I'm not dying. I'm living by the power of my God. Say yeah. Say yeah. Say yeah.
accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you can do so. Give me your hand and give God your soul. Somebody, somebody just told me you forgot the praise P. But no, I didn't. Because what you don't want to see that I've been praising them already. I need to know if you got one in you. My, my God, I need to know if somebody in the house had a praise. Are you going to wait on the preacher? Even when the preacher don't get his praise on, you ought to get yours. Because you know God been good to you. Oh my God. Anybody out there don't mind. Tell it God. I thank you God for my ups and my down. I thank you Lord for blessing on my life. I thank you. Come on, get your praise on. Come on, get your praise on. Come on, get your praise on. with AME people. I want y'all to hear me. Here's the problem with AME people. Y'all got the, somebody got to tell you when to pray the Lord. Somebody got to tell you when to say hallelujah. Somebody got to tell you when to say glory to God. Every so often, you ought to disrupt service. Every so often, you ought to change the strip. Every now and then, you ought to tell somebody, you need to look out, that I got a praise. I got to get it out. Gotta get it out.
Any, anybody got a praise in the house? Last night, when I was watching the game, and after Clemson won the game, they went to interview the coach. I heard the coach say, I, he started talking about what his boys had done. But I heard him say, first thing, I, I need you to know uh, this is about the glory of God. Uh, the reason why Clemson keep on winning, uh, they know how to glorify God. Uh, my God, uh, he said, uh, this ain't nothing but uh, the favor of my God uh, on national television. Uh, but ain't afraid uh, to give God a praise. Uh, uh, my God uh, said, I just want a little praise. Uh, uh, my God uh, said, I just want a little thanksgiving. Uh, uh, my God uh, said, somebody uh, uh, to break out uh, with a praise uh, uh, to their God. Uh, uh, somebody uh, uh, to say, uh, uh, my God, you've been good. <laughs> Worship a God if I didn't feel like moving sometimes. Say, but the question is, have you given your life to Jesus Christ? Yeah, we move, we shout, we know the cliches, but the true thing, have you given your life to Christ Jesus? Is he your Lord and Savior? Do you really believe it? If you do believe it, come and give me your hand and your heart to Jesus Christ. Lord, if you have not accepted him for I'm the very first time. Secondly, if you're looking for a church home, there's no better place than Mount Olive. We love you here. We teach you about the goodness of Jesus Christ right here in Mount Olive. If you're looking for a church home, is there one at this time? And is there one? Hey, 
of your love, the presence of your joy, the presence of your spirit. We need you, God, for when we're hurting down here, some hurts only you can heal. But, oh God, we come now to spread your healing bomb, the healing bomb, God, that was empowered by your shed blood. The healing bomb that was activated in your resurrection. We spread it on this family, God. We touch a mother, we touch a grandmother, we touch aunties and uncles and cousins, brothers and sisters, God. We spread your healing bomb on them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, that you empower them, able them to overcome, God. Even right now, Lord, oh God, lift them up in your presence. Marshal your angels all around them. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, allow them, God, to find strength in you, God. Oh God, bring strength to their faith and heal them, God, in their bereavement. And as they walk through these days, God, that that journey they're about to go on, we pray your power. We pray your anointing. God, we release your love. We stop your anointing, God. And we share your joy in the name of Jesus. Bless them. Bless them. Bless them. In the name of Jesus. Strength life.
that go out on the uh, email blast. All right, send it out. Uh, they even got credits on the end of that production. Amen. Amen. And I, and I want everybody to be there. Cynthia made it. Let's give her a hand. All right. Got talent in the house. Send it. Praise the Lord. Let's yeah. Come on. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see them. At amen. Praise the Lord. I guess I don't mess with enough folks today right now. But I just feel good. I just feel good. I want to thank all the folk uh, that went in 745 for a marvelous experience over the Carter last week. Thank you for being obedient and show what we do when we come together as saints of God. Amen. I, I do want to present Brother Keith. I got to get your last name right. What is the last name? Huh? Huh? Phelps? Phelps? Now, you have to know me, brother. I mess up a name. They'll tell you so now. So, and and uh, I ain't, ain't going to have to ask him. Him and, his, him and his sweetheart sitting over there that close. Amen. I know it. I want to see what she gonna do. <laughs> I, I, I want to see what she gonna do. <laughs> Here it is. She said, "Let her let know right now." He and his wife. No, he's he's a family. Let's give them a hand. Let's give them a hand. Uh, he'll 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 be officially uh, joining us as our other musician. Uh, officially first Sunday. Amen. Amen. He's on board. Amen. So, uh, so y'all see we're a crazy bunch over here. Amen. But we're crazy for the Lord. I hope Elder just, uh, uh, and, and Sister Denise uh, told y'all ahead of time, these folk that lose their mind in him. Yeah, okay, yeah, they won. Amen. 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 So praise be to the Lord. Watch night service will be um, uh, 10 o'clock start. Let's be in the house on time. I would like to have our, our, our folk up uh, start praising worship uh, about 945. So we'd be, we'd be in praise and worship that we come in with a good spirit. Amen. And so our Carter Tabernacle will be joining us. Uh, so we'll be having a good time together and just the blessedness of God's presence. Amen. Amen. So and let's start the year off right in the house of the Lord. Yeah, if you got one of them New Year's party to go to, go after 12. Yeah, if you got to go, go after 12. Let God be your first fruit. Amen. Amen. Let's stand all over the house. I'm going to try to behave. Amen. Excuse me, can I actually have a seat for a minute? Huh? Well, we're going to praise the Lord anyhow. <laughs> we're going to praise him anyhow. Let the church say amen. Well, I guess you're wondering, why am I giving closing remarks? Well, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you why I'm doing that, because, because I am the ministerial liaison person with the uh, lay organization. 
that's why I'm giving closing remarks. And I would like to salute the lay organization for, I didn't come to a program. Many times we say, the program was so good. Anytime you hear the word of God, you've been to a worship service. So we have had a wonderful worship service this morning. Have we not? Give the Lord some praise. Prayers were uttered. The choir sang. The pastor preached. That's not all he did. He danced. That's not all he did. One more thing. And I said, teach, teach. You're doing it. Go ahead on and do it. He taught time. Amen, Pastor. So you can say, I said you did teach it on time. Amen. But waiting on the promise. Somebody once said, promises are like high Christ. Made to be broken. Yes, we do break high Christ, don't we? But guess what? God never breaks the promise. The failure is not in him, it is in us. So therefore, as we are on the brink of bringing down the tent for 2019, Brother Fred, Reverend Fred, we can leave here this day, Mount Olive Church family and visitors, by saying, have we not heard a word, not from the man, but from the Lord. Thank you, lay organization. Thank you, lay organization. And you know what? One more thing. You know, when we have quarterly conference, how many members do you have in the lay? I think they say 40. But y'all, let's change that number, please. Let's go higher. 2020. Higher and higher, with our praise, with our church work, and more members to the lay organization. And they're going to teach you, and they will continue to teach you. I salute you. God bless you. And thank you for the love you've shown to me this year. God bless you, and don't stop praising him. Amen. Let's give Madam Lazon a hand, amen. And she dressed for the occasion too, ain't she? Give her a hand, amen. Marvelous job, amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you so very much. I do need to remind folk that we're going on a road trip uh, the second week in uh, January. Uh, January the 9th, uh, the bus will leave here at 5.30. It was A-M-E, A-M, A-M-E. <laughs> and so, uh, and what I need you to do is, if you have not signed up, go on, sign up. Take a road trip with us. Uh, pay up $25 to get on the bus. And that, that, that ain't a bad uh, road trip for to go, amen. Uh, and you need to do that, pay by Sunday between 9 and Sunday so that we can make preparation. Come on out. Let's go and just celebrate uh, in South Carolina. Hilton here in South Carolina. Uh, I do know they have some good oyster stew up that way. Oh, man. Uh, you haven't had any oyster stew? You need to get on that bus and go try some. Hallelujah. Hilton here, South Carolina. I'm telling you, if you try it, you'll show sure want some more. Hallelujah, glory. And they know how to do it up there in the low country. Come on, let's stand on our feet all over the house. Remember, we got a baptism. We're going right on over there and getting the bread and going over there. Amen. Praise God.
make a manifest. Just make it pop. Pray fervently in faith. Walk obedient in the obedience of the Lord. And then praise him like you've lost your mind. Ah, now unto him who's able to do exceedingly abundantly and above. All that we ask, think, or imagine. According to the power that work in us, to him be glory, majesty, and power. Now henceforth and forevermore, let the church say. Come on, church. Go ahead. 